40 something gay here on somelikeitscott.com. This week I want to talk about why do we need a gay network when we've got Bravo TV? Now, for those of you who don't know, yes, I was the official blogger for Project Runway Season 3, which was the one before this last one, on bravotv.com until I was fired in Season 4, but that's a really tawdry story, and go to my website to get all those details, and look at the Project Runway Season 4 blogs. However, my point is this. I started watching that new show on Bravo, Step It Up and Dance, and that couldn't be any gayer than all the other shows that are on Bravo. And yet, I recently learned that they've sold Project Runway to Lifetime Television for Women and Gays. Now, you know, Lifetime, they play Designing Women and Will and & Grace and Valerie Bertinelli movies. My point is this. How could Bravo, in all of their fashion-forward thinking, God knows those men love to wear their dress pants with the shoes with no socks, which make me sick to death. Can you imagine how their Kenneth Cole smell at the end of a day? For God's sakes, Michael Kors, put on some odd goddamn socks! But I digress. My point is, is that do we really need the Logo Network? Do we really need a gay network when we've got Bravo gaying it up day and night for us? Let's face it, they couldn't get any gayer if they tried. And what's more, it's all the stereotypical gays. They don't have any normal, average, garden variety gays. No, it's all the big gayer than gay, mm, suck your chicken gays. So listen here, Bravo. First of all, how could you let Project Runway, the one really good gay show, slip from your grasp? And two, why don't you just get it over with and put a goddamn rainbow flag on the network? You couldn't be any gayer if you tried. That's right, you're gayer than Logo or any of them. I don't know if we really need a gay network or not, but I know one thing, and that is, is that we don't need one as long as Bravo TV is around. So, thanks for joining me for another episode of 40-something gay here on somelikeitscott.com, and join me every week, where you'll get all the gayer-than-gay news.